What's up, y'all? You know who it is. You know what it is. Your boy JP. I'm coming to you with another how-to. Today we have a, two, a 1998 BMW 5 Series, and we're going to show you how to take this radio out. We're going to be installing a double den. Uh, first thing you want to do is take that volume knob out, and if you look at the bottom up under there, there is a small little screw it's not a screw it's just an opening I think that's a T Let's see if I can get my it's a T10 torque we want to just turn it clockwise like that 90 degrees you don't have to do like a full I try to screw it you just want to turn it that's gonna take this part out all right guys, so when you stick that uh, T10 torque inside that little hole right there, it's doing this. So this part right here is clicked on, you're pressing it down or you're turning it down, that way it actually slides the radio out. Undo that harness just by pressing it right at the top. And then next we have one Phillip right there and one Phillip right there that we're gonna go ahead and take out. All right, now that we got those out, uh, you want to come right here. This is a T10 in that little hole, and that is a T10 in that little hole, Torx. Now, these screws don't actually come out, but you will be able to twist this until it gets a little firm, which means you can't twist no more. And then that's about it on both sides. And then now I can slide the top part out, which is actually where our radio and stuff is. So we're going to take that off take that off and uh, hold on take this harness out all right so now that we have the top and the bottom portions out you see I've taken out my two Phillips that's right there but we also want to take off these wood trim pieces as well so let's take this one off and of course I've been using my panel removal tools pop just kind of popped off but now we want to go ahead and take out all the Phillips so there's one right here and we want to go ahead and take all of them out too Doggone. all right so now See this part right here? That's another Phillips right there in the corner. We want to take that one out. And I've already taken that one on that side out right here. So I'm going to take those out. All right, guys. So as you can see, I have ran into some issues. So the reason that we have to pull this back is because this Phillips that goes in here goes on that little bracket right there. So you have to pull it back in order to pull this part down and get it free. Same thing on the other side. This goes right behind here. Now I was able to pull this back as far as bend it because it's kind of like some little weak metal, but I still can't get it out because this is stopping me from maneuvering it how I need to. And I really don't feel like taking the glove box out because it, have, it has those little things on there as well and I just don't feel like messing with it man this is a 1998 and if I could take less things off as possible that's cool so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this metal bar out and see if that can help me maneuver uh, this part out because we need to get this piece out in order to put the uh, double den in so look at this I cut that little metal bracket out and look how easy it is to just come out it's so easy I took it out once and put it back in just to let you know how easy it is so now that we have that stuff out I have all the room in the world to fit my double den so let's go ahead and get this dash kit started wire harness hooked up and we'll get it rocking alright so next on the list this is just a wire harness this is the GPS antenna so don't mind that I'm gonna clean all this stuff up but uh the part of the dash kit when it comes in you are going to have this bracket now you remember the thing that actually came out where we had to take the screws off of the top and the bottom on the left and the right sides this black piece is going to uh, put it gonna be in this place so you want to put it here the same factory screws that you use to take it out you want to put it right back in and that goes there and if I'm not mistaken they do have these holes here to where if you wanted to screw them up to the top you can I'm gonna see if I really need to do that or not but uh, once you put the bracket on the side of the radio they have these little tabs that's gonna click inside of here and there's gonna be a cover piece with some white clips that's gonna go inside there so first things first I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning up the little uh, wire mess that I have right here. Uh, I know what you're thinking. It didn't actually go over the wiring. Well, in order to make these radio removal 
videos as short and sweet and uh, efficient as possible I made one video that's in that card in the corner for you guys to go click on if you want to actually wire up the radio because it's the exact same way every time I do these videos and then uh, you guys can watch that wire up the radio yourself enjoy this video to actually learn how to take it out and put the dash kit together also all the links will be in the description the harness the uh, radio the steering wheel control unit all that stuff will be in the description and uh, let me go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and we're gonna check it out make sure everything works good all right y'all this is what it's supposed to look like i like it it has this matte black looking look to it now this whole little lip right here that kind of contours out i'm not a huge fan of it but it does look good um like i said this thing literally just clips in because it has one two three four little uh pegs that you put the white clips that's provided in the dash kit pop that bad boy on this is the kenwood dnx 575 so i will have all those links in the description if you guys found any value in this uh video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe hit that notification so you don't miss out on any more content and uh, i want to thank all over 1000 things like 1300 you guys who subscribe to the channel so uh thank you once again and i'll see you guys at the next car